Sarah Keith, good afternoon. I spoke with Angelus Duena. She is co-owner of the Costa Brava Bistro here in Bel Air. She's from Spain and has called Houston home for the past 37 years. She was home this morning doing some things around the house and had the news on. When she heard the newscaster mention Spain, that caught her attention. She looked at the TV and her heart just sank. She was absolutely devastated by what she was seeing. And the first thing she did was to get in touch with one of her dear childhood friends who lives in Barcelona using the WhatsApp. That's a free texting app. Her friend who works at a bank says she was on her way home from work and was near Las Ramblas when she heard a lot of commotion. It wasn't until she got home that she realized what had happened. She says her friend was very shaken up. Duenas told me that all she could do was breathe a sigh of relief knowing that her friend was safe. Tremendous because of the person I love, but I'm still devastated because this is my country. This is people that if you've been in Spain, you know that you go to our country and we open your, our arms in such a way that the minute you step in our path, you are our family and you are our friend. And to see this is very hurtful. Because of this uh, time that this happened around 5 p.m. local time, Duena says that most Spaniards were either finishing up lunch or on their way back to work. However, she says, Las Ramblas would have been jam-packed with tourists. Tourism, she says, is the lifeblood, the life pulse of that city. Live in Bel Air this evening, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Andy, thank you.